It took just seconds to unveil this sign, but the road to get here required years of effort. It was a lot of letter writing, a lot of campaigning, a lot of gathering people. Annie Pudigu moved to Ottawa from Nunavut and quickly began to turn heads with her art. It represents Inuit artists, Inuit women, and Inuit culture. In 2006, Pudigu became the first Inuk artist to win the prestigious Sobeys Art Prize. The themes of her work ranged broadly from the mundane to the horrific. Her own life also filled with contrasts. She experienced great uplifting moments. She also struggled grappling with mental health. The artist's body was found in the Rideau River in Ottawa in 2016. Police deemed her death suspicious at first. Then came a scandal after an officer posted racist comments saying Indigenous people are often satisfied abusing drugs and alcohol. That officer apologized. Purugu left behind a young daughter, Napachi, now nine years old. She took in the full scope of her mother's story today. I like today because it's named after my mother. Police sources have told CBC News they would be unable to pinpoint the exact cause of Purugu's death. But Napachi's adoptive father hopes the naming of the park after her starts to address other pressing issues about reconciliation. To dedicate an Inuit space here in the national capital of a colonial government, it stands in opposition to their invisibility. A fitting legacy for an artist who always strived to portray the world around her honestly and clearly. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.